Picture this, it's a brisk evening, the air tinged with the unmistakable scent of popcorn and anticipation. The year is 1974, and you find yourself in a dimly lit theater, the screen glowing like a portal to another world. And then, it begins Zardoz. That name alone sends a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? You may have stumbled upon this enigmatic movie like an unexpected guest at a strange, otherworldly gathering. Maybe it was late at night on cable TV, or perhaps a peculiar DVD cover caught your eye in the labyrinthine aisles of a video rental store. Whatever your first encounter with Zardoz was, it's a memory that lingers, one that's etched into your cinematic consciousness. Do you remember the heady mix of bewilderment and curiosity as you ventured into the bizarre, dystopian universe of Zardoz? Those eccentric costumes, the haunting visage of Sean Connery, and the surreal landscapes they left an indelible mark on your mind. Whether you loved it, loathed it, or were left pondering its meaning for days, Zardoz was an unforgettable ride into the realms of the unknown. So, let's journey back to that peculiar world and explore some random facts about this cinematic enigma that has puzzled and intrigued us for decades. Hit ready to uncover the secrets, the quirks, and the oddities that make Zardoz the cult classic it is today. In 1974, the movie Zardoz brought a unique vision to the screen under the direction of Sir John Borman. The film was born out of Borman's earlier attempts to adapt J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, which faced budgetary roadblocks that made the project unfeasible. Borman's ambition met similar resistance again later, leading him to create Excalibur in 1981. On the set of Zardoz, there's an interesting tidbit involving Charlotte Rampling and Sean Connery. Reportedly, Rampling anticipated a more extended and intimate sex scene with Connery, but it concluded surprisingly quickly, leaving her disappointed. Behind the scenes, the film's production was met with various challenges. Director John Borman noted that the political and cultural climate in Ireland made things tricky. The Irish government initially denied the production team's request to import prop guns due to the backdrop of era terrorist attacks at the time, nearly derailing the movie's production. Moreover, convincing cast members, especially women, to disrobe for certain scenes proved to be a tough task. Zardoz is a product of its time, marked by a distinctive creative process and the hurdles faced during production. It remains a fascinating piece of cinematic history, with both on-set anecdotes and behind-the-scenes challenges that reflect the complexities of filmmaking. In the 1974 movie Zardoz, director Sir John Borman's creative process was heavily influenced by drugs, a fact he later acknowledged. During the film's production, Borman admitted to being under the influence of drugs, which led to a hazy and uncertain narrative. He even confessed that he wasn't entirely sure about the meaning of certain scenes, attributing this ambiguity to the drug-induced haze he was in during the film's creation. As a result, some scenes in Zardoz may appear pointless, reflecting the unusual circumstances surrounding the movie's development. However, despite the challenges posed by the film's production, the team behind Zardoz used innovative techniques to achieve their vision. To capture the Stonehead's movement accurately, they employed a unique method. The camera was positioned at the head's mouth and tracked backward, with the film later reversed in post-production. This technique ensured that the stone head's movement aligned with the intended visual effect, contributing to the film's distinctive aesthetic. In a bid to control production costs, Sir Sean Connery, who played a leading role in the film, took an unconventional approach. He used his personal car and drove himself during the movie's production. In response to Connery's cost-saving initiative, Sir John Borman provided him with half of the money initially budgeted for hiring a car and driver. This decision, according to Borman, was Connery's own idea, demonstrating the collaborative and innovative spirit of the Zardoz team. Zardoz, a unique and experimental film, remains a noteworthy entry in the world of cinema, marked by its unconventional production circumstances and creative solutions. It serves as a testament to the intriguing and unorthodox aspects of filmmaking in the 1970s. In 1974, the movie Zardoz brought Sir Sean Connery to Ireland, where he stayed at the Borman family house in County Wicklow for the entire shoot. It's a notable tidbit that Charlie Borman, son of the film's director Sir John Borman, revealed that Connery paid what he called rent money each week to cover his stay. The film's visual style also had an interesting backstory. Cinematographer Jeffrey Unsworth used a unique approach, 
filming scenes with a wide open lens, fog filters, and on set smoke machines to create a dreamy and diffused look. This technique worked well for the initial prints, but when the film was duplicated for release, the image quality suffered, making it almost unusable. This led the studio to prohibit future use of this process by cinematographers. To add a touch of mystery, radio spots promoting the movie were narrated by none other than Rod Serling. His distinctive voice likely added an extra layer of intrigue to the film's marketing. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the making of Zardoz and the creative choices that shaped its unique visual style and promotion. It's a fascinating glimpse into the world of filmmaking in 1974. In the 1974 movie Zardoz, a surprising and somewhat bizarre incident occurred during filming. A real baboon on the set attacked a double who was dressed in an ape suit, portraying a baboon. This unexpected event added an element of danger to the production and is remembered as a unique and memorable moment during the making of the film. The opening title card of Zardoz reads, set in the year 2293. Interestingly, the film was originally intended to be set only about five years into the future, in the late 1970s. This choice to set the story so far ahead in the future might have been influenced by the desire to create a more dystopian and surreal world. One of the notable aspects of Zardoz is the reported salary of its lead actor, Sir Sean Connery. He received $200,000 for his role, which was a significant sum at the time. What's intriguing is that his salary constituted one-fifth of the movie's total budget, which was $1 million. This fact underscores Connery's importance to the film and the budgetary considerations involved in its production. These insights into Zardoz shed light on some of the unique and intriguing aspects of the film, from on-set animal encounters to the futuristic setting and the financial dynamics of the production. Zardoz remains a distinctive piece of cinematic history with its own share of fascinating stories. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of Zardoz, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1974 cinematic masterpiece has had on our minds and souls. With its mesmerizing blend of science fiction, surrealism, and thought-provoking themes, Zardoz has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of film history. Perhaps you were entranced by the audacious visual storytelling, the vivid imagery of the floating stone head, or the captivating performances of Sean Connery, and Charlotte Rampling. Or maybe it was the philosophical underpinnings of this dystopian tale that stirred your inner philosopher, prompting you to ponder the intricate questions of immortality, social class, and individuality. No matter your personal connection, Zardoz has a unique way of sparking conversations and inspiring introspection. It's a film that beckons us to examine our own beliefs and the implications of technological advancement on humanity. So, share your favorite memories, your most profound thoughts, or the moments that have stayed with you since you first encountered Zardoz. We're here to celebrate the enduring magic of this film and the profound ways it has touched our lives. Join in the conversation, share your insights, and let's keep the legacy of Zardoz alive. After all, it's in these discussions that we truly appreciate the artistry and depth of this cinematic gem. Thank you for your time and your unwavering interest in Zardoz. Together, we continue to explore the mysteries of this unforgettable movie. Keep those conversations going and let the legacy of Zardoz live on.